Modern Warfare. I love this game, man. A lot of people gave this multiplayer especially hate. Like, oh, this is one of my favourite multiplayers, and since like Black Ops 3 in the last five years, this has generally been one of my favourite multiplayers, and the Warzone that comes to the game, Warzone made it so much better. Like, this game is awesome, I can't wait, but Cold War is coming out tomorrow. I'm super excited for the game. A lot of content is going to be made. Um, I'm lagging, which is not good. Look at that, look at those delayed kills. That is, that is my lovely connection. It's just delayed and it's really annoying, but Black Ops Cold War is coming out tomorrow. I'm really excited. I, I generally can't wait for a new game. It's a lot to get used to, like a lot of different game mechanics and stuff, but I'll get used to it. I like a challenge. I like getting used to games. It, that's, that's the fun part for me. But yeah, I just wanted to give this game a Modern Warfare. It's been a great year. So successful in terms of everything. Guns, maps, like the game in general. Warzone obviously made a success. So good. Warzone gave this game so much success and all round I think I think the multiplayer was a success from the get go but not many people gave it the credit it deserved until Warzone came out but I'm glad it it was a successful and good game because it really deserved to be. I love this game man. But yeah I know I've said it so many times but I'm just Cold War, the beta, the alpha, all the feedback on it so far it looks to be a, potentially a really good game. It looks really fun, it was really fun to play and I just can't wait for it. All the I'm going to be uploading a lot of content. And guess what? It comes out Friday, and I haven't got college Friday. I'm so thankful I don't go in on Fridays. I'm so lucky. So I get to play the game all day, make some videos, just get used to the game. Yes, I'm so lucky that I don't have college on Friday, because then I can, I can just play the game all day Friday. I just get used to the game, and I'm, I can't wait. I generally can't. But one thing I love about Cold Black Ops Cold War when I was playing the alpha is sniping looked fun. And you, and you know if you've been on the channel for a while, I love sniping. And how have I just hit... Wow, a claymore. And I got a hit marker. Anyway, what I was saying was the snipers are really good this year, really fun to use. And I think one thing they lacked in this Call of Duty a little bit was the sniping. I mean, most snipers are marksman rifles. And as you saw there, you get so many hit markers unless you headshot them like that. So it's just, I didn't like the snipers that much this year. But I definitely can't wait for Black Ops Cold War because sniping will be generally amazing. I'll be doing a lot of montages this year, hopefully, if sniping goes well for me. You know, well, let's check the stats real quick. What have I got? So, I've got my, obviously, I've got my first nuke on this Call of Duty. I got a lovely nuke. I really enjoyed that. A 1.72 KD. That's a decent KD ratio and an okay score per minute. I know I've nearly got 5,000 kills with an M4, but apart from that, you know, I do a lot of sniping on this game. So, I actually stopped caring about my KD kill death ratio and score per minute a long time ago. I used to find it fun going for that. Like, I used to find it fun going for good KD, good score per minute, but then I just stopped caring. I started going for trick shots, started sniping, going for clips a lot more, and I kind of just got bored. I did have a 2 KD for ages on this Call of Duty, which I'm really happy with, but when I started going for this camo right here, that's what ruined it. Going for Damascus is the first year I've actually got the camo for getting every single gun gold, and it's a rewarding camo. I love Damascus. I'll definitely be going for the next, like, Damascus type camo on the next Call of Duty. I'm getting a new Call of Duty on PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 edition just in case I get the PlayStation 5 in the next year, which I probably will, so I'm pretty sure I've got most of you guys as friends anyway, but if you want to play some games, add me as a friend on PlayStation or leave your gamer tag in the comments and we can, we can get some games going, hopefully, do get some easy wins, get some easy clips with snipers. But this year, even though I can't wait for the multi- why am I lagging so badly again? This is horrible. I hate playing with McDonald's Wi-Fi, but one thing I can't wait for this uh, year is is the zombies. Like, zombies this year looks really good. I'm a huge zombies fan. I don't know if you guys know. Completed all the Easter eggs on, like, previous Call of Duties. I'm literally addicted to zombies. I play it all the time in my spare time. Like, I love it, so. But yeah, a remake of Narked of World at War. Like, this year, this, this is the first zombie map we're getting, and all, obviously all those rumors about the transit remake. Honestly, I'm down for a transit remake. If we get one of those, I'll be so happy. Transit's one of my all-time favorite zombie maps. Plus, narked of world at war i can't wait to play that again to get those og vibes back because that map didn't have much concept and no like easter egg or anything but it was such a fun map to play plus now we've got like added features to it so we're probably gonna get an easter egg for it okay that is the video guys call of duty cold war is coming out tomorrow i'm so excited and i'll be playing it all day i'm gonna be making some content as well so make sure to stick around to watch the content on the release date i'm gonna be doing a lot of content just playing the game i can't wait i'm so excited but if you guys did enjoy make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.